Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here at my channel Jesus Truth. Thank you very much for stopping by. In this video I would like to talk about 7 Failed Prophecies from Joseph Smith. Joseph Smith was an American religious leader and founder of Mormonism and the Latter-day Saint movement. When he was 24, Smith published the Book of Mormon. By the time of his death 14 years later, he had attracted tens of thousands of followers and founded a religion and religious culture that continues to the present day. Joseph Smith bore many titles in his lifetime, elder, seer, president, mayor, even lieutenant general, but he is probably best known as the prophet. And prophecy he did, often with great passion, invoking the powers of heaven and the name of God. So let's take a closer look at seven prophecies from Joseph Smith notable for their specific appeal to divine authority. These are taken from official Mormon sources, either the Latter-day Saint scriptures or the history of the church, a seven volume history published under the authority of the Mormon church. Each are given in context and cited directly from the original source. Failed prophecy number one, the coming of the Lord. It says, President Smith then stated that the meeting had been called because God had commanded it and it was made known to him by vision and by the Holy Spirit. It was the will of God that they should be ordained to the ministry and go forth to prune the vineyard for the last time. For the coming of the Lord, which was nigh, even fifty-six years should wind up the scene. This prophecy was spoken by Joseph Smith in 1835 and recorded by Oliver Cowdery. The 56 years ended by 1891. This is a failed prophecy. Failed prophecy number two. All nations would be involved in the American Civil War. Joseph Smith said, Verily, thus saith the Lord concerning the wars that will shortly come to pass, beginning at the rebellion of South Carolina, which will eventually terminate in the death and misery of many souls. And the time will come that war will be poured out upon all nations, beginning at this place. For behold, the southern states shall be divided against the northern states. And the southern states will call on other nations, even the nation of Great Britain, as it is called. And they shall also call upon other nations, in order to defend themselves against other nations. And then war shall be poured out upon all nations. This is clearly another false prophecy since all nations did not get involved in the American Civil War. False prophecy number three, the United States government to be overthrown in a few years. Joseph Smith says, I prophesize in the name of the Lord God of Israel, unless the United States redress the wrongs committed upon the saints in the state of Missouri and punish the crimes committed by her officers that in a few years the government will be utterly overthrown and wasted, and there will not be so much as a pot's herd left for their wickedness in permitting the murder of men, women, and children, and the wholesale plunder and extermination of thousands of her citizens to go unpunished. Joseph Smith made this prophecy in May of 1843. However, the United States government did not redress any of the presumed wrongdoings committed against the Mormons in Missouri, and now over 150 years later, the United States government still stands. Failed prophecy number four, Congress to be broken up as a government. He says here, while discussing the petition to Congress, I prophesied by virtue of the holy priesthood vested in me and in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that if Congress will not hear our petition and grant us protection, they shall be broken up as a government and God shall damn them and there shall be nothing left of them, not even a grease spot. This petition from Joseph Smith was not heard and protection was not granted. Yet, Congress was never broken up and continues to function to this day. Well, that's a surprise. Another failed prophecy. Failed prophecy number five. Finding treasure in Salem, Massachusetts. This prophecy is recorded in Doctrines and Covenants, section 111. The introduction to the prophecy found at the beginning of section 111 states, Revelation given through Joseph Smith, the prophet, at Salem, Massachusetts, August 6, 1836. 
At this time, the leaders of the church were heavily in debt due to their labors in the ministry. Now let me pause for a moment. I want everyone to keep in mind here that the next five statements that Joseph Smith said, he claims they are the direct words of God. Number one, I, the Lord your God, am not displeased with your coming this journey, notwithstanding your follies. Number two, I have much treasure in this city for you, for the benefit of Zion and many people in this city, whom I will gather out in due time for the benefit of Zion through your instrumentality. Number three, Therefore, it is expedient that you should form acquaintances with men in this city, as you shall be led, and as it shall be given you. Number four, and it shall come to pass in due time that I will give this city into your hands, that you shall have power over it, insomuch that they shall not discover your secret parts, and its wealth pertaining to gold and silver shall be yours. And number five, concern not yourselves about your debts, for I will give you power to pay them. Now those are some very bold statements from Joseph Smith claiming that those words were God's words and not his own. Nevertheless, no treasure was ever discovered, nor did the city of Salem ever fall into the hands of the Mormons. Failed prophecy number six, pestilence, hail, famine, and earthquake to destroy the wicked. He goes on to say, and now I am prepared to say by the authority of Jesus Christ, that not many years shall pass away before the United States shall present such a scene of bloodshed as has not a parallel in the history of our nation. Pestilence, hail, famine, and earthquake will sweep the wicked of this generation from off the face of the land to open and prepare the way for the return of the lost tribes of Israel from the north country. So this widespread destruction of pestilence, hail, famine, and earthquake to destroy the wicked never occurred. Yet another failed prophecy. Are you guys starting to see a recurring theme here? That Joseph Smith was very good at getting it very wrong. Failed prophecy number seven. Temple to be built in Zion, Missouri. This prophecy comes directly from Doctrine and Covenants, section 84, the introduction of which states, Revelation given through Joseph Smith, the prophet, at Kirkland, Ohio, September 22nd and 23rd, 1832. Again, I want you guys to keep in mind that the next five statements are, according to Joseph Smith, the direct words of God. Number one, a revelation of Jesus Christ unto his servant Joseph Smith and six elders as they united their hearts and lifted their voices on high. Number two, yeah, the word of the Lord concerning his church established in the last days for the restoration of his people as he has spoken by the mouth of his prophets and for the gathering of his saints to stand upon Mount Zion, which shall be the city of New Jerusalem. Number three, which city shall be built beginning at the temple lot, which is appointed by the finger of the Lord in the western boundaries of the state of Missouri. Did you guys catch that? The temple is going to be built in the state of Missouri and dedicated by the hand of Joseph Smith and others with whom the Lord was well pleased. Now, anybody that knows the Bible, knows that it mentions many, many times that the temple is going to be rebuilt in Jerusalem, not Missouri. Number four, verily, this is the word of the Lord, that the city, New Jerusalem, shall be built by the gathering of the saints, beginning at this place, even the place of the temple, which the temple shall be reared in this generation. Number five, for verily this generation shall not all pass away until a house shall be built unto the Lord and a cloud shall rest upon it, which cloud shall be even the glory of the Lord, which shall fill the house. The Mormons were forced to flee Missouri due to the persecution, and a temple was never built on the temple lot in the lifetime of Joseph Smith, or within the generation of his contemporaries. Not surprising at all, another failed prophecy. So in summary, over the last 200 years, a number of people have claimed to be religious prophets with special spiritual authority from God. These include Charles T. Russell, the Jehovah Witnesses, Ellen G. White, Seventh-day Adventist, Mary Baker Eddy, Christian Science, and of course, Joseph Smith and the Mormons. Each started an organization which claimed to be the one true Christian church, each had unique teachings, and each appealed to the Bible to some degree, as their basis for spiritual authority. Yet, each prophet's teachings contradict those of the others. 
You know, Jesus warned us in Matthew chapter 7, verse 15, that many false prophets would come, and several other places warn us about false prophets and spiritual deception. Therefore, we should not be surprised to discover that there are false prophets in the world today. So as Christians, how can we test a person like Joseph Smith who claims to be a prophet? Well, the Bible gives us a very specific biblical test to see if a person is a prophet of God or not. The Bible in Deuteronomy chapter 18 verses 21 and 22 provides a test for anyone claiming to be a prophet and claiming to speak for God. If the person fails this test given by God, then we can know for sure they are a false prophet and we are to reject their teaching. Let me repeat that, reject their teaching. So let's look at the verses. And if you say in your heart, how shall we know the word which the Lord has not spoken? When a prophet speaks in the name of the Lord, if the thing does not happen or come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord has not spoken. The prophet has spoken it presumptuously, you shall not be afraid of him. So here, God tells his people how they can keep from being deceived by someone claiming to be a prophet. If even one of the prophet's prophecies do not come true, he is a false prophet. What was the punishment if a prophet did speak a false prophecy? According to Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 20, the prophet was to die. So God takes the area of false prophecy very seriously. Joseph Smith's false prophecies in the name of the Lord proves that he was a false prophet and cannot be trusted. So thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can do so by clicking the link on the screen now. That way you will get updates to all my latest videos. Also, please share this video with your friends and family to help spread the truth of Jesus Christ. God bless and I will see you next time.